Hey guys. Okay, it's morning of day three, I guess. Um, I have to take this off. I have to clean this. I think it's like 7 30 a.m. I slept on and off again. Definitely more comfortable than being at the hospital though. And also, I need to actually probably sleep more upright because I feel like I'm a little bit too flat, to be honest. Oh my god. Yesterday my camera was dying when I was talking because I couldn't really show you guys, but my rib scar, I don't keloid and I'm kind of freaking out. I keep saying like it's going to be okay, but I'm like, what is going on? I'm like looking at all the different types of scarring. I'll show you guys that right after I clean this for sure. So this is not going to be anything special. This is the same cleaning I do three times a day. This is the one you guys saw me do yesterday. <sighs> okay. Oh my god, I saw this TikTok yesterday. It was so true. And it was just like what they don't tell you about rhinoplasties. And this girl caught herself, I guess filmed herself sneezing at least literally like 20 times. And it's so uncomfortable. I don't think she had, well, I don't know, actually. I don't know if she had the rib thing done, but like, I have felt it for her every single sneeze. You guys know that song? I did my dance one time on TikTok and I viral with it. Uh, uh, uh, uh, that little cute baby. Okay. Anyways. Oh Lord, oh Lord, Lord, Lord. This is my last gauze thing that I have. I'm definitely gonna have to message them and be like, I need more. Because this is my first out of my third cleaning of the day. I know this is free breakfast, but honestly, I don't feel comfortable enough going down there. Not today. Maybe the last day. But as of right now, it's just too much. I feel like if I go like this, something will come running out. And it's just like, I'm not trying to do that. So, that's all I have to say. Okay, yay. This feels like so good. Every time you, like, you do this whole cleaning process, you're like, okay. This is good. Look how swollen my eyes are. Oh my god. Okay, anyways, let me show you guys the rib scar now. It's just kind of freaking me out. Don't mind this. Oh, I'll leave that on. Okay, I actually just put this on um, by myself this morning because I was just kind of freaking out because it's raised. But I don't know if that's even helping. This is freaking me out because I keep saying freaking out because I am. Um, yeah, so I don't know if this is keloiding or if it's just like gonna go down over time I'm gonna actually ask them for silicone sheets so I can like start making it flat because this is just not it I thought it was gonna look so different um, You can see here like usually my scars are flat like this and it's just It's just not this and I'm trying to remember if like My breast implant scars were like this in the beginning, but I can't remember and I feel like I was using those silicone sheets so early in the process, so right now my rib scarring is what I am very, uh, I was going to say passionate about, <laughs> what I'm very determined to heal the most. Because like, I I know, and the thing is I've also been like googling and researching stuff, and I'm like this is not really helping me. It's also like... Every time somebody messages me and they're like, oh, like this is happening, this is happening. And sometimes I'm like, okay, like it's a little bit too early to, you know, like have a final say for most scenarios. And I think this may be one of the scenarios where I'm like, okay, Jessica, you have to like take your own advice. You're three days out. Your rib was just like, 
I don't know what to say. Your rib was just, you know, something happened to your rib. So just give it a, a bit. I don't know. Should I? I don't know. If we play that tape on, it even helped. But I might just leave it to breathe for a bit. Still see the stitches. Like, it's so surly. I think I'm, I'm like, getting a little antsy for no reason. But also, like, like just no. Just no. Okay. Anyway, so that's that. Um, it's probably close to 8 now. Oh my god. Because the sunrise comes at around 8. Ooh, I can show you guys a little bit. Don't like me. So that's cool. Yeah, but besides that, um, I have to take a couple of pills. So I have to take the, some of them with food, one of them before food. So I'm not hungry right now. But one thing I will say is that I definitely keep it as hydrated as possible. I have my little water beside my bed. I have to sneeze. Oh no. Oh no. I'm always holding my like myself when I sneeze. <laughs> oh, it's the worst pain ever. I don't feel like my rib is exploding when I do that. I think about oh fuck. The thing about sneezing after like getting rhino with your rib cartilage stuff is like you have to sneeze through your mouth, right? Obviously not through your nose. And then it just triggers like the feeling that you had when you woke up from surgery, your throat's all dry. So now I'm like, okay, I have to get some water. It's a whole mess, guys. And it's fine. I'm not gonna lie though, there was a point last night, cause I was like awake and sleeping, whatever, on and off. And I'm like, Jessica, uh, but I wasn't like, was it worth it? I'm just like, oh my god, like, I don't, obviously don't feel, you know, my tip-top shape. I'm just like, ugh. I think this is the last surgery I'll forget. Like, I'm so, I'm just so over surgery. <laughs> I'm just so over surgery! <sighs> okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. What am I gonna go do? I don't know. I just uploaded a video, my Airbnb tour. Another thing too, last night I went to bed actually pretty early. Like the lights for my phone and my laptop were kind of, I don't know, I don't know if they're going to be a headache, but it was just making my eyes hurt and like my head hurt. I just like, it was making my body hurt. So I was like, okay, let me just turn this stuff off. And then, yeah, I don't know. That never happened to me the first time, but I don't know what it was. But I had to turn it all. I was just in the dark. I left my windows open though, because I like seeing the city lights. I'm kind of used to that for my like old condo. Just see the lights. <sighs> okay guys. <clears throat> I'll check it with you guys a little bit later after I see if they have like something that can help me with my rib scarring and I get more gauze and all that good stuff. Bye. <laughs> I swear I brought more clothes but uh this is just what I'm most comfortable in right now. So I just had my morning post-op thing where the doctor comes in and the nurse basically i was told that my swelling is, is a little bit is a little bit more than average so it's a lot which um is factual they told me that i should be sleeping you know more upright i did say i do have a little problem with that because i love sleeping but i need to actually probably sleep more upright because i feel like i'm a little bit too flat to be honest um what else no more salty food, so bye bye to the fries. That was, that was fun last night. No more fries. What else? Um, I should be going for walks, so that's what I'm getting ready for right now. I'm gonna go for a walk and to stay hydrated, which I said in the last clip. I think I'm being more hydrated than usual. I do have these almonds, which I got like when I first got here. They do have almond and salt in it, like that's the two ingredients, so. I haven't had any today, but I am going to like try to not have a lot of almonds if I do have almonds. So I'm going to go for a walk. I think I'm going to come back, have a cup of pineapple juice. I did have a little bit like the rest of my fruits this morning and I took like the pills I have to take, the stomach protector and the antibiotic. But um, yeah, I don't know where I'm going to walk to. Honestly, it's going to be half an hour walk. I'm going to find a direction, walk 15 minutes, walk back 15 minutes. 
we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that a couple times a day. Let me not get ahead of myself. But I would like to do it two or three times a day. That's a lot of walking. I don't even do that on a normal day. We'll see, we'll see. I detect the temperature. That should help. 14 degrees right now. That's pretty warm. I did take a painkiller this morning. I don't know, I just felt like I didn't really need it. Um, I don't know, I just feel like from now on, the little pain that I do feel is just gonna keep like going away slowly. That's just how, you know, post-op works for the most part. But um, I'll see how I feel after this walk. If I do need one, because the painkillers will knock me out. I don't know. Uh, I just feel like it's gonna take so much energy to get ready. But let's get ready. About half an hour later and we are almost ready. One tip that the hospital coordinator, I think that's her, her role, she gave me was to wear your mask upside down because like that metal thing or that thing that like shapes your nose. It's basically unnecessary pressure so this is how I'll be leaving out. Like, so protected, Jesus. Anyways, yeah. Um, I think I'm just gonna wear this. I want to say I just threw this jumpsuit on that I wore. I think in my birthday vlog. Ugh. I'm just trying to make sure that this is on me, so I don't have to hit maneuver. Breaking my headphones, or I guess my earphones. I'm gonna listen to a podcast. Maybe I'll shower when I get back as well, but. If I do another walk in the evening, I'm gonna shower after the walk. So I'm trying to figure that out. I literally haven't moved, but it's like, you know when you feel fresh after, you know when you feel fresh after you shower? Like, of course. And my eyelashes keep going in my eye. And my eye socket right now is already small enough because it's so swollen. So it's like, when it's in there, it's really in there. In between here hurts so much. In between my nose and my teeth, like my teeth are even hurting. Can't smile. Ugh. Okay, got my stuff. Gonna bring a little bit of moolah, even though I have no idea where we're going. I also asked for um, silicone scar sheets. I'm really on this whole rib scar thing. Uh, they said it will be 20 euros, but I'm just making sure that it's exactly what I want it to be. And if it is, I will purchase that from them because... The rib scarring? No. I try to not freak out, which I don't think I am anymore, because even the doctor from the morning who checked my nose said, like, okay, it's gonna, like, it's gonna go down over time, but, you know. If I could decrease that time, I will. I swear I start every clip like that. Okay, just got out of the shower, poured my pineapple juice. I think my eyes look a little bit less swollen. Definitely, I can actually like open them now. Before I was like this. So yeah, the walk definitely helped. As I said, I was sweating, so I had to shower. It's only nude, 12, 10. Okay, so I'm probably just going to finish the sleep for the rest of this podcast. I couldn't finish on my walk and then do some work um i'm definitely gonna have to stay upright just because honestly last night i was you know as i said i was a little bit too horizontal we have to keep the swelling at a minimum and my nose is so stuffed i don't know if i'm going to go out for a walk after like i want to it's so funny how i said oh yeah two or three times i probably will honestly maybe one more time I'm just so comfy when I lay down or not lay down or not lay down. I'm so comfortable in that bed. It's like, am I really gonna want to go for a walk? No, but we'll see. Bye guys. Um, I did. Oh my God, what is going on? Okay, guys, I didn't go for that second walk. Um, I kind of just took a nap on and off. I did my second cleaning. I have one more. It's like what seven. 
oh shoot, it's almost 9.30 p.m. I just ordered food, because honestly, all I've had all day was a little bit of fruits in the morning, my leftovers. I had a little Oreo thing, like from, I don't know, that comes with the room that I gave to buy, obviously, and then that's it, it's some almonds. So I'm like, I have to eat dinner to take my evening meds. So I ordered pasta, it was just tomato sauce, what else did I get? A fruit plate and grilled vegetables. So just waiting for that to come. My eyes, I don't know if they're as swollen as they were this morning. I'll definitely try to do a longer walk tomorrow, but as of right now, I don't really have any other big updates. My lower, the lower part of my face feels so swollen. I'm laughing so much, but it's actually crazy. Well, it doesn't hurt. It just looks so swollen. Why am I saying feel? I don't, like, it feels like a face, but you know. Anyways. <laughs> I still can't smile. It's so weird. Oh my gosh. I think that's it for today. We're done vlogging for the day. It's funny because I feel like my rib scar is actually going a little bit flatter. So yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be all good. <sighs> Guys, I just have to show you the fruit plate I got. So good. They did break the pasta, but it had cheese on it. So they're going to, you know, remake it because I'm a vegan. So yeah, I'm just going to enjoy some fruits for now. And it's actually pineapple this time. But I don't think there's pineapple on the one I had yesterday. So we're all for the pineapple here for the swelling to lessen. This is my little setup right now. I'm also doing a little bit of work. So fun oh my god guys how rude of me i already started eating but this is so good so good so good so good my fruits are almost done so we're good we're eating we're living and um see you guys tomorrow <laughs> okay guys it is day four it is 2 p.m so i haven't been out yet all day i'm about to like go for a walk i'm also gonna get the pizza I'm hungry, I need to eat, and I don't want to like get so used to having the pasta and fruits, that's more of like a night type thing. I had a little bit of fruits left over from this morning, and then took the pills I need to take. <sighs> I feel like I look so funny. I'm trying to not wear the gauze underneath as much, like I, I just want to wash my face so badly. But we're gonna wait. Cast off day is Thursday, so like two more days. So it'll be here before I know it. Oh, I just want to wash my face so badly. Um, what else? Every morning, there's like a nurse that comes in and checks your blood pressure, pulse rate, temperature. So that's good. It's like something a little extra. <laughs> um, yeah, and I guess like the post-op doctor only comes the day after. Like he was here yesterday. My first morning here. I, I don't really know, but that's good. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, the pizza, I'm going to Papa John's, which is like just a seven minute walk, but I want to walk around a bit before that, but it's crazy because obviously pizza has sodium in it, I'm supposed to be lowering down on the sodium, which yesterday I did pretty good, the only like sodium I had yesterday was, I would say from the almonds, and then I guess in my pasta there was some uh, black olives, but yeah, I've definitely been lowering down the sodium. My eyes can be opened finally, but it's definitely still a little puffy. I feel it. <laughs> Why am I doing that? Okay, um, what am I trying to say? It's gonna rain in an hour. That is what I'm trying to say. It's gonna rain in an hour. Oh no. Yeah, at three o'clock. It's two o'clock now. I already said that. It's gonna rain in an hour and I wanna walk and eat. But ideally I should be like eating and then walking, but it's like the timing is just not working out. And I think it's raining for the rest of the day or until, what did I see? Oh my God, I love how I can't do face ID because my phone is just like, who are you? It's gonna be raining until like six o'clock. There's a little break and the rain's again at eight. But then it's gonna be dark and I just don't wanna, I can't be bothered. Oh. And the reason why I did have the gauze on in the first place, because now I feel like my nose is leaking. I have to blow my nose. Maybe I will wear the gauze outside underneath the mask anyways. Because 
I just can't be put in that position where my nose just starts pouring and all I have is this. You guys see it, I feel it, yep. Okay, well, gauze it is. I asked for some extra gauze this morning. I don't know if I said it in this vlog already, but my friend is coming from Toronto on Friday. Then we're going to go to Cap Cappadocia, which is another place here in Turkey. And um, I actually got her to get me the silicone scar sheets for my rib scar. So that's great. I'll have that on Friday and four days, three days actually. So that's good. I can start making my scar flat because we already know how I feel about that as of right now. Like I know, I know this. I know they're saying that it's gonna go down and everything's gonna be okay, but I just wanna be a little bit more proactive with it. Okay, I feel like you guys have seen me do this literally 10 times. Oh my God, also, last night I woke up and I was like pouring sweat. I'm like, what is going on? I did take a painkiller. I don't even know why I took it because I wasn't even like in pain. I just, it's a problem. <laughs> no, I just like took it to take it. I honestly don't think I'll be taking it anymore. Like, I'm supposed to take one this morning, didn't take it. I think I'm definitely dead with my painkillers. And I think even like when I did my rhinoplasty the first time, I only took it up to like day four, day, maybe day three or four. And today's day four. So. Yeah, sounds about right. I definitely won't be taking it anymore. I just don't need it. I thought it like excruciating pain. And like that whole middle of the night, I woke up drenched. And I'm just like, oh, like what? It was just super weird. And my room was already set cool, so I made it cooler. Ugh. Anyway, but yeah, definitely those pain meds, don't take them unless like you're really in pain. And like what I'm feeling right now, this is definitely not pain. This is just discomfort. The clouds are rolling in, and I just don't want to get stuck in the rain. So yeah, let's go get our pizza. It's just so much energy. That's the thing. Like, I feel fine, but it just takes a lot of energy to do everything. Also, the, I don't know if this TMI, but like, haven't been to the bathroom once. Like, number two, haven't pooped, is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, since when? Since I was originally in this room, what was that? Last Thursday? No, yeah. No, not Thursday. After like that, Friday. So that was a lot of thinking, sorry. So Friday was the last time I pooped. Um, and today is Tuesday, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four days. And I don't feel any sign of like a poop coming out. Okay, that's too much. I don't feel any sign of it happening today. It's definitely the antibiotics, probably the pay clothes as well. It just obviously doesn't work well with my stomach. Last time I did, oh, no, not for the surgery. A different surgery. I brought like stool softeners, which is always good, but I just didn't do it this time. So that's just that. Whatever. That's. Like, I don't feel uncomfortable in my stomach, but this is definitely not normal. A kitty bit, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm definitely walking further than I did yesterday, so this is good. And I'm enjoying it. And it's so weird because like no one's really staring at me. Everyone's just like another person here to do rhinoplasty. I don't know, but we're, we're enjoying the weather. Oh my god, this is literally my life. I can't find it. I'm walking around everywhere. It's nowhere to be found. It said it's supposed to be here on the map, but it's not here. So I'm walking back to the hotel. I'm just going to shower and just order room service because I feel a little bit of brain coming and I just can't be bothered. And honestly, I think my blood pressure is a little bit high because I am huffing and puffing and all I've been doing is just walking around. So that's it. I'm done. That's it. I turn my head. So, I'm showered, I feel fresh. I'm now gonna eat, probably watch something on YouTube at the same time, and then get some work done. I definitely don't feel tired at all. It is 3.30. Um, 
I did my morning clean. I have to do my afternoon clean, but I'll do that after I eat. And um, yeah, so far so good. Slow start to the day, but we're we're doing well. Oh my god, another thing. Okay, that was a little bit too aggressive, but all the way back, I went through like another route, I guess, and I saw like a Starbucks, a whole supermarket. There was this other coffee shop. There's this organic place. I'm like, whoa, ho, ho, ho, ho. How did I not see all of this before? Probably because I didn't take that route. But yeah, I think it's raining all day tomorrow. But hopefully, I just spat. Hopefully, I can go around that area again, like sometime before I leave here. Because I'm just like, this is this is a lot, a lot of goodness. But um, yeah. So let's see what my pizza looks like. I just got. What's that? Oh. My card was on top of my box. I didn't see it. Notebook. I just got a vegan pizza. I don't know. It was off the menu. Oh, corn. The first time I have a corn on pizza, so this is gonna be interesting. Hee <laughs> hee. And then I got barbecue sauce on the side. So I don't think you guys can see it from up there, but I'll show you. So there's my medium vegan pizza from Papa John's. I'm also going to get my laundry ready so they can do it tomorrow because I've never actually done laundry at a hotel. I know they have about four they have to like fill out. I'm just like, why is it so complicated? Why can't you guys just go by like weight or like how, I was gonna say how heavy things are, AKA weight, but like, I think I have to fill out exactly how many like tops I have, how many like underwear I have, how many shorts I have. So that'll be annoying, but I'm gonna do that after I'm full and a little bit later. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on, obviously. And even barely feel my lips. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna have a little chit chat. So it is day five. I feel like this whole like experience is going by so fast. Like honestly. Also, come on. I'm wearing one of my like home dresses and a robe. I don't know because it's like short sleeve, but I wanted to like cover up my arms because I'm feeling kind of cold. But I didn't want to go under the blankets. But that doesn't matter. That's besides the point. Anyways, what time is it? It's 5:40 p.m. I haven't vlogged anything all day because last night was kind of weird. Like I went to bed so late. I think at like 5 a.m. or something. And like right when I thought my sleeping schedule was you know getting back on track, it fails me. So. I went to bed around like 5, 5.30, and then it's just like I couldn't really fall asleep. I think I fell asleep for a couple hours, woke up, it was like 9 something, I'm like, okay, I guess like I'm up, and then I did a meditation, and then I was like, okay, I'm like too tired to actually start my day, so let's like try to sleep for a little bit, like a little quick nap, and then like the post-op doctor came with one of the nurses and like a patient, ooh, I don't know. I don't know what her role was, but basically she was just asking like how every, oh fuck, what was her role? I don't know, I can't remember, but her role was basically like asking how my whole experience was. I was like, oh, everything was great. Like Clinic Hub, all their people are like wonderful, blah, blah, blah, because it's true. So yeah, those those people came and like woke me up like right when I was about to like fall, uh, fall asleep. Um, so yeah, the post-op doctor, post doctor came, checked my nose, said everything was okay, and like, I actually feel, obviously like, I feel great, um, they told me, yeah, they said everything's looking fine, and like, as I think it is, I don't have any bruising, um, it kind of looks like I do because of this light, but like, I, I have no bruising, swelling, so, like, it's more just like in my cheek area, not really even too much in my eye, like maybe a little bit, but, um, throw back to yesterday when I was like slotting my face, like, what was I doing? <laughs> so that was the first time my sleep was ruined so i was like hey whatever they came did their thing they left i'm like you know what let's let's try this again so i try to sleep a little bit and then all of a sudden i hear another knock and i'm like oh my my <laughs> and then it was like another nurse and basically wait sorry for the first knock if i said it was a nurse i was wrong it was a post-op doctor like the translator woman she's so nice and then the patient review person those three and then the second knock was the actual nurse who does like the daily blood pressure pulsing and temperature and i also did my pcr test which i'm gonna be in turkey for the next two weeks so i don't really need it but i'm like okay i guess it's good to know um yeah the test was done through my mouth because obviously you can't do it through my nose side so note like when i go back to canada in two weeks they're like not they're gonna try <laughs> 
Um, they're gonna want me to do PCR tests at the airport and it's like, you're not putting that in my nose, obviously. And it may be a little fight because if you guys don't me, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not gonna say my stance on anything, but I, I'm ready to fight. <laughs> okay, anyways, what I'm really trying to say is that like, honestly, I hope they understand that like, I can't do it through my nose. I'm gonna have to do it through my mouth if the airport accepts that. If not, I've been through this route before, so I'm fine to deal with that. But anyways, so yeah, I did my PCR test, all that like daily checkup stuff in the morning. That was cool. And then I gave up on sleeping. I'm like, you guys read my sleep twice. And like, I'm not blaming them. Like, obviously, like I should have slept like during the night, not like I couldn't sleep. So I was just, you know, doing other stuff. But anyways, um, and then I was like, you know what, whatever. I guess I'm up. What did I do? Oh, sometimes this happens to me like once every like, I would say once a month, like, I don't even know what happens. TikTok. Let me just say that TikTok. Let me just expose myself TikTok. Like, it's so weird. Just once a month, I will just be on this whole like TikTok like rampage for honestly a couple hours and time will fly by like around me. I wouldn't even notice. The only thing I was noticing, I was like, okay, maybe I should like order food because it was raining. And I was like, okay, I don't want to go outside. Spoiler, I haven't been outside all day. Don't plan on going outside. It looks... I'll show you guys what it looks like. I don't know if you can really see, but it's looking very gray. Very dark. Not cold, but not fun. So basically scrolling on TikTok and then what happened? And then I was like, okay, I have to order food. So I ordered breakfast. You can order breakfast until like 2... I think until 2 p.m. or something I ordered or maybe until 4. I don't know. It's like a long a long time away from lunch, but I ordered it It was a good breakfast. I had like a lot. I had Turkish coffee. It was so good. Also yesterday, you know how I was saying like um, Not that I was constipated, but like I haven't been to the bathroom that that's no longer a thing. Let's just say like Wait last night. I well after I was like filming I actually did go to the bathroom a little bit, but like that's quick. It was nothing might be TMI, but this is just the truth of what happens after you do rhinoplasty and you have all these like, not just necessarily drugs, but like, I was gonna say antibodies. <laughs> That's how you know we're into 2021. But um, antibiotics, some of the people, more painkillers, you have a stomach protector, you have this like, you just have so many pills in your in your body. So obviously like, you can't flow properly. So anyways, last night, Nesquik. Uh, today, literally right when the Turkish coffee hit my tongue, I was like, oh, game time and um yeah and been to the bathroom a few times since then but also yesterday i had this like chocolate thing which i thought was dark chocolate but the bathroom says otherwise i'm sorry we'll continue on so yeah um my stomach is like regulating itself i guess and now that like i've stopped the pain colors um i think i think we're on a good track i don't know what i'm doing with my hair so yeah, today has just been really chill. Um, I've been doing... I don't know what's going on outside. Doing work on my laptop. It's actually been pretty productive. I had to like figure out this like PayPal stuff. I got that sorted out. Um, yeah, it's, been, it's, a, it's a great business month for me with like my other coaching stuff. That's wonderful. What else? What else? What else? I feel like I had so much to say because throughout the day I was like, oh, I should vlog now, I should vlog now, but like nothing was really happening. And even right now, it's just like a little break. I was just like messaging my mom, happy birthday to her. Oh, it's so weird because it just happened on my phone right now. All of a sudden, I think, well, I don't know why, but I don't, whoa. I just had three thoughts in my head. I'm oh, sorry, I need to backtrack. First, I'm not wearing the gauze underneath anymore. Like I didn't wear it to sleep last night for the first time. Um, just because like, I want like, the underneath like um, incisions to kind of breathe. <sighs> Not that TikTok uh, song in my head. Breathe, breathe. Want me to breathe, chill, chill. I don't even know what it is, but yeah. I need these incisions to like, I just want them to breathe basically. Um, second, my phone can now unlock when I look at it. And I don't, I guess it wasn't unlocking because I had the gauze underneath, but like, I don't know. It's freaking me out because I feel like it wasn't unlocking before as well. But now I think that like they track your iris or something. I don't know. It's weird. But my I can now unlock my phone with this big cast on my nose, which is I feel like that's crazy. But if it knows it's me, it knows it's me. 
tomorrow's also cast off day so oh gosh i feel like this week has like flown by this is the same thing i said a lot i keep referring to last time because obviously this is a revision so sorry if i keep saying like last time last time last time it's just like i have something to actually compare it to so now i'm like you know kind of know what to expect but the same thing as i was saying two years ago day two and three were definitely the worst like yesterday is when i started feeling like good you know like like good good like today i'm feeling amazing no pain at all it's just like a weird it's not even it's not pain it's not even discomfort well i guess it could be discomfort it's just like what it's but it's not even a bad discomfort like uh, i don't know how to explain it oh my god you guys are seeing this in real time Oh, uh, 7.15 a.m. for my appointment, for my cast. 7.15 <sighs> Guys, 7.15. Okay, I'm acting like that's like a big deal, and it's really not. So just got to calm down. So, as you guys saw this in real time, 7.15 a.m. tomorrow is going to pick up for my cast off. So that'll be fun. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go now. Um, See you tomorrow for cast off day. I think... I don't know, should this be the end of part one? I feel like, because this clip right now is almost 20 minutes. Like, obviously, there's some a lot of BS in here. I'm going to cut it down to, like, hopefully 10 or something. Because just I've been talking about a lot of random things that, like, aren't, like, that important to you guys right now, at least. So, um, you know what? This is going to be the end of day one. That makes no sense. Jessica, get it together. This is gonna be the end of part one. That would be good because like, you know, right before cast off and I think like after cast, oh. I don't know, but it's also like, what am I gonna put in part two? I don't remember what I did last time or part two was when I went home. I think I'm only gonna do a one part vlog and then I guess my next like update will be three months. Sorry, my eye, I don't know what's going on. I can't figure it out guys if this is the end of this whole video there's definitely part two coming up with cast off and god knows what after that if this is the middle of the vlog then cast off will probably be within the next couple clips because I don't think I'm filming for the rest of the day so oh and also I can see more of my top teeth when I smile but not everything so I still have a weird smile bye okay so i have to rush because my driver is honestly 25 minutes early and i just feel rushed and they've been waiting so today's cast off day as we can see in the title down below so let's just go downstairs because i'm ready now my outfit literally does not make sense but i don't even have a second to like change it so <laughs> let's go <laughs> It looks like I have a little bit of time right now. We just got to the hospital where the check-in is. No, not the check-in. The cast-off is going to be happening. Um, my driver's outside. I think he's just waiting for someone to come and get us. I don't really know. Um, I just find it funny how something got lost in translation. Like, he had to wait almost half an hour for me. I got told 7.15. I actually went downstairs two minutes early. And now I feel like he's a little bit upset. But hopefully a tip will fix that. And I was trying to ask him like what time did they tell you to pick me up but he doesn't really understand english too much so this is where we're currently at um i really do feel bad but it's also like i didn't i just got ready for the time that i told to get ready you know so yeah the reason why it looks so dark is because it's literally it's like probably like 7 30 a.m right now so uh yeah yeah <laughs> Did you get some more?
Onun altına yemek var geliyorsunuz inşallah. Kalan mı istemiş ben ben mi? Niye hocam? Sana inat gelmedi. Kıştık mı? Kırmızı elbise mi alsam dedim. Al. Ya da kırmızı ayakkabılarım var. Siyah elbise giyip kırmızı ayakkabı. Siyah elbise giyip kırmızı ayakkabı. Hocam kıştık mı? İyi yapmışsın ben de. O ne demek? Ya beni size vermiyorlar. Geçen gün Arbi Kaya dedim ki ben dedim Emre Hocaları özledim dedim. O da dedi ki Vlad'a da söyle yaptı sen dedi. Evet. Orayı iyileşmeye bıraktık. <laughs> he just leave this place to healing. Yalnız bunu çok güzel olmuş. Hani revizyon ha? Şöyle bir yandan da çekelim. Sen gör. Ettim. Hocam. Ağzımın yüzü anladım burada. Hocam sen ne oldu? Kıskanıyorum. Sürekli ondan böyle post atmaya kalmıyorum. Aynen şimdi bizde bir selfie. Şimdi bizde bir selfie. Bizde bir selfie. Bizde bir selfie. Bizde bir Hey, I'm going to take a little bit of a So he's going to give you a retainer. Okay. It's going to protect uh, your muscle uh, safe. Okay. You need to use that. We're going to give you information how you need to use that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little Sen bize engellemesin ya. Ha, bak doğru bir şey bir daha bir daha bir bir daha bir daha bir daha bir daha bir daha bir daha bir daha bir daha bir daha bir daha bir Guys, that looks so good. So different. I know. Oh, Thank you. Look at this. You like it? I do, yeah. So you'll get so like still swollen and it like hurts yeah. inside, but yeah, everything will, you know, come down. Bunun var mı içerisinde? You done something? The jail line or no, not not uh, this original. Long term, yeah. Good <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Var da. Hı hı. Offside. Offside penaltı değil mi? Kahve rengi bant belki fermuar yerde olabilir. Nasılsınız? <gülüyor> <gülüyor> var mı? Ben de var. Var mı? Var. Aslında hemen içimde yok yok. Offside istiyor musunuz? Hı hı. 
Can you close your eyes? Yes. So you need to keep these tapes five days? Okay. Yes. After five days later, you need you can remove them. Okay. And then wash your face. Remove them. Every night first month you need to taping. Okay. And then you can take this paper tape from our nurses or Sorry. any pharmacy. And then so I can buy it from any <coughs> nurse or pharmacy. Yes, <coughs> Hmm. Okay. Allergic. Allergic. Allergic. Allergicus. Telefon, bizim aynamız yok değil mi? Piyanımızda. Aslında benim Emrah Çelik aynam çantamda var idi. Onu da mı taşıyacağım ben? Taşıyordum. <gülüyor> Vardı. Yok yok her şey var. Bizim kızlar çok güzel olduğu için kendilerine aynalar ihtiyaçlamıyorlar. Aynalar ihtiyaçlamıyorlar. Evet. Biz de kızarmış. Şu an yok. Herhalde çanta, ben de hatırlıyorum çünkü. Çanta şey yaparken, düzenlerken onu koydum herhalde bir kenara. Bir yerde görmüştüm. Var çünkü. Aynen Anladım. böyle yapmış olduğum gibi baktıcak. You need to tape like that first month as he done right now. Masajı okay. Like, and then... Like that, yes. Şimdi masajı söyleyeyim ona da. So he's gonna give you information about massages. Mm -hmm. It's like this, okay. 30 seconds, okay? okay? It's very important Three right times now. a day. It's for, so important, yeah. Okay. Can I hurt? A little bit. <laughs> In a month, okay? Okay. Three so times a day? Three times a day, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Just, oh, like one time 30 seconds? Or? Yes. Okay. And press, sport. Mm -hmm. Of nose, yeah. left finger, yeah. right finger like this. Slide. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thirty times. Thirty times. Okay. And count. Thirty times. Okay. For one month. Yes. Okay. That's all. Okay. Huh? Retainer. Hocam retainer şöyle bir oynatın bir şeyler yapın bana karşı. Bu firma değil mi kızı? Evet. Ben de ben yaptım. Başka üç vereyim isterseniz. Veya dört. Sana bir şey. Var üç numara var. vereyim isterseniz. Başka üç de var. Bakın da aynı boyutta. İki de de vereyim isterseniz kıyaslayalım. You should use monster retainer mm -hmm. as much as you can. Okay. It's better. Okay. Bu da üç numara bakın delikleri. Evet aynı. Şey, bu da kutusu. Kutusu. Her kullanmadan önce yıkayacak. Okay, before you use this retainer, you need to wash and then clean with the water. Okay. It's very important. Takacak, and then you need to put inside your nose. Okay, so like... And then the open hole will be outside. You okay. understand how he needs to put. Yeah, I'm just gonna look at it. So, um, clean it, do the massage and then put the retainer. Yes. Okay. You don't need to use this retainer yes. during the day. You okay. can only use that one in the night. Okay. Ne kadar çok kullanırsa kadar iyi. But as evet. much as you can use, it will be better for you. Okay. İşte bunun şey alsam. Don't forget to use that Aldım. regularly. Okay. Almadım ama. For how long? Ne kadar kullansın? Cemil Şahin. Three months. Okay. You need to use this retainer. Okay. 
Bu çay boyunca kullansın. Hı hı. Bir daha sonra bize biz zaten onları şey isteyeceğiz. One month later he wants some picture of your nose. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's all. Okay. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Kapat aşkım. Nasıl kapatıyorsun? Buradan mı? Evet. How we will close? Yeah, just the red button again. Okay guys, we're back in the room after cast off. Whew, that was like actually a little bit stressful, but like not in a bad way. Cause I was just like very nervous to see what my nose would look like. Um, I don't know, I'm actually kind of surprised. I'm like, whoa, my bridge really is bridging. It really formed <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm looking forward to like the results down the road. It's only, it's not, it hasn't even been a week. Yeah, tomorrow, no, it hasn't even been a week. Two more days for a week, so it's like, the result I see right now is so different than what I'm gonna like have in a in a year. I'm not used to having my bridge like so prominent. So when I saw it, I was like, holy, like this this is what I wanted, but I know it's gonna all like kind of mold to my face a little bit better. So yeah, I'm just like whatever with that being chill. My after like everyone's aftercare is a little bit different. Similar but different. For me, as you can see, I have let's let's bring you guys closer. Why are you so far away? I have um, a retainer. Why did it, my brain shut off? I have a retainer in my nose, so I have to keep this in for five days, and then like everything can come off, like all the tape and stuff. I have to tape every night for three months. I have some massages to do, but the thing I didn't ask, but I was just wondering right now, because I was like looking at myself in my mirror, is how do I clean my nose within the next five days? Like, do I just not? I have to ask because it's just like, what? <laughs> um, yeah, I was gonna say it looks like I don't have to, but of course I'm gonna have to. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. Another thing, I guess I have to go and find surgical tape because they didn't give me any. I was expecting them to just because like Dr. Bora gave me like tape and like some aftercare stuff, um, but maybe I, I don't know. I just wasn't even thinking about it until like. Like right now, when I was right before I filmed, I was looking at myself in my mirror. I was like, "Oh wait, I don't even have tape for the five days, so I have to go on a search to find that." Um, yeah, I don't know. I have I have time, obviously. To, well, it depends. Unless I have to like take this bottom part off every day and then clean and put my retainer. I don't even know. Oh yeah, thank God I filmed the whole thing because I said massages for three months. Maybe I meant massages for a month. I don't know. Honestly, thank God I filmed it because like I don't even know but retainer as much as I can for the next three months. I think that was right. I don't know guys. Also, can we take a- I'm so sorry, my brain. We already know. Can we take a look at these clouds right now? Like guys, I just- I can't. I'm in love. I'm in love. They're moving so fast as well. So I ended up actually taxiing back. Um, after my cast off like situation, I was waiting for like 20 minutes in the lobby, like where they told me to wait. And then I didn't have Wi-Fi to like message someone. Cause after 20 minutes I was like, hey, like, you know, where's the driver? And then I actually ended up finding Wi-Fi, which was like the Wi-Fi I had when I was in the hospital. So it's like your passport and then like the last few digits of your passport number. And when it worked, I was like, oh wow, like, thank God. And I messaged them and then um, nobody was really answering and then somebody, one of the girls came maybe like five, five to ten minutes after and she's like, oh the driver will be here in about like half an hour. And then I was just like, uh, like I, did, <laughs> I didn't want to wait like basically an hour, 15 minutes to an hour for a 10 minute drive, you know, like overall 15 minutes to an hour. Um, and I definitely didn't want to wait an extra half an hour so it's like honestly I'll just like taxi. So I just taxied back. Um, Oh my god, so it's 
It's 9, 10. Oh, it's 9, 11. I, I don't know why I say 9, 11. Like, I don't really want to say 9, 11. But yeah, it's 9, 11. I'm going to make a coffee and get my laundry situation sorted out. Okay, so I'm going to go do what I got to do for the day. I check out of the hotel tomorrow. Then I'm going to be, like, still in Turkey for the next week or so. Oh, I think almost two weeks. I don't know. My math is not mathing. I guess I'll film next when I find out, like, Am I taking the bottom part off and cleaning every day or am I leaving this whole situation for the next five days? Like I need to figure that out. I don't know if you guys can like tell from the video, but there were like there's five people in that room. Me, um, Ember Selick. <laughs> Why did I forget his name? Me, Ember Selick, and there's three ladies. So it's just, just a lot happening. And like I didn't really have time to like be like, okay, like I'm gonna take pictures with my phone, blah blah blah. And I'm kinda glad. I was thinking that in the taxi on the way here, but like I should've just took like a panoramic view of my nose but like maybe not because doing that the first day it's like it's not gonna be anything close it's like i i've been through this before literally so i'm like i, I just know like that wouldn't be a great idea you're gonna be obsessing about like this amount of like um how swollen it is and blah blah, blah. yeah you know the other thing too the septal perforation he said he fixed it and i'm like thank the freaking lord so no more whistling um cut back to the clip where he's like i fixed it <laughs> how was the hole in the septum did you see it oh, i fixed it you fixed it okay. yeah thank you <laughs> oh my gosh so great and i am actually like really happy about that because the whistling situation it was like i don't know i keep i feel like i keep talking about it but it comes up here and there it's like when the whistling will come up i'm like oh shit like this definitely happened because of my first my rhinoplasty because i was never my nose never whistled before and i didn't even know no i'm definitely gonna have to clean this like i can't even <sighs> oh there's holes oh i didn't even show you guys there's holes so like, obviously i can breathe but uh, yeah um i didn't even know your nose could whistle like that like generally and then when it started happening to me after rhinoplasty i'm like put one plus two <laughs> yeah i guess like three but i want to say one, one plus one equals two so you know, I'm not pointing fingers, but I'm just saying if the math equals the final amount, then that's just what it is. So, okay, I need to stop with the riddles. But um, no, seriously though, like I even brought it up to my primary surgeon. Like I brought up, I was going to say I brought it up to you guys, which I did. And it apparently never happened to them before. Like, um, is that what they said? It's never happened to us none of his patients something like that i don't know basically just saying it's never happened to them and i'm like hey maybe this is just a meat thing maybe it's just a swollen thing maybe just one side is more swollen and it's like making these whistling sounds that's why i start all the time but honestly you know this is not one of those videos so like obviously not but yeah that is uh that's my story about me my septal perforation and my rhinoplasty my revision rhinoplasty so Yay! I'm gonna make some coffee and then start doing my stuffs. Oh, oh! Did I show you guys? They gave me this little thing, which is I guess what my retainer goes in. So yeah. Okay, guys, what's up? So I have to be a little bit quiet because my friend's sleeping. I'm in Cappadocia. It is five days from cast off day, so I'm taking taking the tape off basically. This is what the retainer looks like. I kind of don't love it, but like ugh, it's crazy. I had to wear this for the first five days, and then I have to wear as much as I can within the next three months. But we'll see about that. So let me just take everything off. I literally just woke up. It is. It's 7 a.m. and I'm leaving Cappadocia this morning and we're going back to Istanbul for another week. Okay. So I'm just gonna do this on camera. I'm actually so nervous. Oh, another thing. Okay, let me just do this first. This is what the retainer looks like. Sorry, it has obviously my boogers and stuff, but I just put it in like this. I did see a, a, like a video of this girl who like had it left, had it in just like this. But the thing is, like for me, it's like slipping out, so I have to put the tape underneath to um, secure it. But I'm mostly going to be doing this every night for the next three months at least, because I have to tape, anyways. 
Okay, so some of my um my stitches I pulled out by accident. It started with one, and all of a sudden, we see what happened. It's not looking great right now. I'm actually gonna get Neosporin today and start working on that. But, oh yeah, but this scar, I'm like I can't even touch it, which is good because it's like it's very sensitive. Let's do this. I'm actually so nervous. Ooh. Oh my god, guys. I'm freaking out. Oh my god, it's looking so swollen. <laughs> I can't even properly see because there's so much stuff on my nose. Maybe I should wash my face and come back. Oh my god. I can breathe. Okay, tie my hair. I mean, wash my face and come back because I haven't been able to do a full wash in a while. I was like, let's just let it play because why not? This feels so good. Okay, probably should let the water run it. I feel like I need like a full scrub because like there's a layer of film or something from the tape glue. Oh god. Well I can't believe I like punctured myself. But Neil Sporn will help all of that. I'm gonna leave it all in the video so probably in a week I'll come back on camera and then show you guys how the scarring is going. But I have faith in that I'm really not that nervous about it. Me doing my massages at the same time. Okay, it doesn't really hurt like that, but you know. Okay, just as much as I can do right now. You know, just very lightly removing this stuff. Very lightly. I love it. I just feel like this is so distracting. Ooh. I'm so tired. Okay. My nostrils are even. Everything's good. I'm so quiet. Okay. My moisturizer is up there, so never mind. I don't think I'm gonna put moisturizer on my nose. I might make sure. There's so much happening right now. There's basically, you're gonna feel like a layer of like, basically tape glue on your nose. And it's gonna be hard to take everything off. I'm still so swollen. I'm so excited to see what it's gonna look like month after month. So these are my old scars folded in here. And you can, yeah. I think that one, that side's a little bit worse, but. Um, that's why I'm not really that worried. I know that once I put in your spore for a bit, I'll be fine massive right now. Because I'm going to be on a plane for the next few hours. It's crazy because in my part one, when I was cleaning, I still don't know what this is. It's like a jelly consistency. And I should have done the nasal spray first. I'll have to get more of this today too. Basically going to a pharmacy <laughs> when I landed this symbol. Q-tip and you just clean that inside because obviously when you have this in your nose, like sometimes book like not boogers, <laughs> snot will come out, but it's gonna come out through this. So this is in your nose, so you wanna obviously make sure that the insides are 
clean. What am I doing? Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, now I have a clean retainer that I will wear every night for the next three months. Okay, we gotta get ready now. So, see you guys in a week. Okay, what's up guys? Oh my gosh. It's Let's just say it's January 10th. Not let's just say it is January 10th. Don't mind my other tripod in the back and whatever else I have there. Oh, it's been such a whirlwind. Okay, so the last clip, I'm just gonna hop right into it because we gotta continue on. Okay, so the last clip was tape off day. I was taking the tape off my nose. I did mention in that clip, I believe I did, that I like, I kind of ripped my stitches out, which was obviously not a good thing. And I thought like in those clips, I was like, oh yeah, I'll just heal whatever. Cause like whatever, just like a, a wound or a gash and I'll just heal but then after the clip like after I finished filming I realized I'm like I think this is the right term my aller aller base wasn't even like connected to like my face here's a video I I'll talk about it in a second so yeah there was just a whole mess going on I'm like oh no like I I definitely I was gonna say I pulled up my stitches too early but I I, I did something wrong <laughs> you know that side note that little meme where that's like Oh look, isn't it the consequences of my actions? That was literally me. So basically that happened, that like video, and I was like, okay, hey, this is obviously not good because you can't heal some, I was gonna say you can't heal something that's open, but you just can, like, I just need to get restitched. That's all I knew. So I messaged the, I think she's the hospital coordinator. She spoke like the best English, I would say. So I messaged her and then she told me to email this email from the clinic hub so i sent her that video with me i think i was wearing a black shirt i sent her that video with me in the black shirt showing her that like uh my face is um mm, you know and then i sent the email to the clinic hub email as well and then basically like that day i was leaving cappadocia and i was going to istanbul for like another week so i was ready in turkey anyways so that same day i got restitched probably like i think three hours after i landed in istanbul because i was like getting ready to go anyways um Dr. Selick, he wasn't happy and honestly, I wouldn't be happy too if I was his patient If I were him, I mean <laughs> Because like who does that? Why did I do that? I don't Honestly, I just didn't like how everything was like fraying out. It's just like no, don't do that I forgot who I was telling in the whatsapp group. But I'm just like don't do everything I do like yes I love uh, Selick and his work, but like don't pull out your IV don't pull out your stitches like just don't some of the things I do, I'm still figuring out why I'm doing them, you know? But anyway, so that happened, he researched me, he like, obviously he's super nice. He's like, yes, I say like he wasn't happy because you can tell he was just like, you really, <laughs> really you did that? But he was like super nice about everything. I got local anesthesia, which is like, I think that was my first time ever getting it because I don't remember ever having it. And I'm like, this is like, this is science at its finest. So that was good, everything he did that, he stitched me. <laughs> Is that the word I'm looking for? Uh, what else? What else happened? He gave me, what did he give me? I did go on another round of antibiotics. He gave me this like, something for my rib scar, which, oh, I'll show you guys. Well, yeah, it's fine. Cause I showed it like a couple days ago when I filmed this, but I'm, does it matter? No, just show it, Jessica. Okay, so that's it now. Okay, so it's definitely healing a lot better than it was in the beginning. Like, honestly, I was kind of freaking out. If you saw, like, part one, I was just like, oh my gosh, it's going to heal well. Like, my friend was coming anyways. I'm like, I needed to bring the silicone strips. Like, I just need something ASAP. But yeah, it's definitely healing much better now. It's getting lighter. It's it's flat. Yeah, I'm like, why am I doing that? It's flat. Um, So yeah, it's just going to take time. Honestly, it's only been, like, a month. A month and a week not even a month and a week something like that so yeah that's whatever now i'm just using my scar gel um well i'm using the gel he gave me which is like a silicone gel and then right oh i'm in mexico by the way i'm not coming back to canada for a few months maybe longer who knows so i got Mod moderna moderna moderna i don't know why i feel like i'm saying it wrong but i think that's what it is it's like the one of the most popular scar gels so i'm gonna be using that well, I'm using it mostly on my nose, which I'll show you guys in a second. I just want to like, get everything out of the way before I show this. Um, using Moderna for mostly my nose, and then I always have excess because it comes out like so much. I'll just like rub it on my scar here as well. And yeah, I just feel like the rib scar is gonna heal. It's just gonna heal like at fine. Like you know, it's gonna be like very very light, kind of like my breast surgery scars, which is cool. Um, is that? I feel like is that all I have to say? I feel like there was something else I was gonna say. I don't know. 
anyway, so we're gonna get on to the, the main attraction, the nose. Okay, why is my camera doing that? So this is, sorry, I'm kind of greasy, so I'm just, I'm wearing no makeup, by the way. Well, my eye makeup, but like no face makeup. Okay, so it's pretty much been a month and a week. I'm trying to get my hair out of the way. So here we are, straight, obviously straight on. I'm still so swollen, so like, I was doing this today. This, you can feel, <laughs> you can't feel. You, it's very swollen, like obviously, whatever. But I love the shape, number one. Um, I'll go this way. Everything like, is looking good. My tip has definitely dropped a lot since the beginning. And obviously I know like way more to come. So right here is where I pulled out my, oops. Right here is where I pulled up my stitches. You can actually see one stitch still there. So I'm, I'm just gonna wait like, I'm waiting as much as long as I can, but I might like, I don't even have tweezers with me. I guess I'll wait till April when I go back to Canada and probably like pluck that out. Is that bad? No, right? Cause it's like coming out anyways. <laughs> me trying to justify this to myself. Okay, anyway, so yeah, this is the scar underneath here, which it's funny because like, it wasn't even like, how am I trying to say? You can see it now more than you could like, I don't know, even two weeks ago. So that's why it definitely urged me to get the scar gel as well. Cause honestly, if the scar under here, focus, focus camera. If the scar under here looked like what it did two weeks ago, I probably wouldn't even have got scar gel. It's, like, it's actually crazy how much it has lightened, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's fine. Like. I got out of surgery a month ago, what do I expect? Um, yeah, so as I was saying, here is where I was pulling my, <laughs> so stupid. I'm not stupid, the action item was stupid, where I pulled my stitches out, so, like, everything's obviously connected back to my face again, and, um, yeah, that stitch right there. Anyways, so yeah, that's what it looks like up close. Um, I'm just focused, focused, focused? <laughs> I'm just focused on the scoring. I can't speak. I'm just focused on the scarring right now. Um, the massages. I'm supposed to do massages three times a day for the first month. It was just like the massages that you'll see in this video, the cast off day. Like he showed me this for 30 seconds. I'm like thinking, I think. And then this 30 times. I have a nose retainer. I'm supposed to wear it as much as I can for the first three months. We'll skip it. We'll skip that. Um, what else did he say? I think that's it. I feel like I, I think that's it. I know this video is like, honestly, I'm hoping it's gonna be a little bit less than an hour. I know the last video was a lot in there, but I just wanted to show literally everything. And everything before this video, like part two, before this clip right now, was pretty much done. But then like, I got restitched and everything. I'm like, oh, I have to share that. Like, I can't like leave the video off with like what I had. And now that I look back on it, it's like, Jessica, did you not know that like, your face wasn't connected to your nose? Like, what's going on? Anyways, that was so, so a month ago. So yeah, we're, we're healing. Um, it's so swollen, but I see so much more shape than I did like obviously after my primary because it's like this rib cartilage in it, but it's just like, it's literally everything. It's everything and it's giving me what I want. I just want to fast forward like eight months and like, like oh, okay, like, you know, it's going to take some time, but yeah, I'm definitely a happy camper and um, yeah. I also hurt my neck, so I can't even turn my neck properly. Like, I'm in pieces. As for feeling, like, okay, if I were to close my eyes, if somebody did this, like, I would obviously know someone's doing this, but it doesn't feel normal. It's still so, like, swollen and numb, like this. I don't know, maybe I only know I'm doing this because it's, like, my own hand and, like, I know what to expect. My brain is like, okay, you're doing this, but it's very, like, but to some spots, I'm like, I can't, I can't feel it. But uh, that's just part of the whole journey, whatever. Whatever. I keep switching my hair. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Of course, follow me on Instagram right here. I'm on stories, like, prob like mostly every single day. So if you want, like, a live update on my nose, I'm on stories all the time. Um, TikTok. I'm on TikTok all the time as well now. My new TikTok. Follow that. Uh, honestly, Instagram, I'm sometimes, like, because filters are just so readily available, I am sometimes using filters on Instagram. More just, like, I don't know, just, like, smooth all over. But, like, on TikTok, 
TikTok, nice. TikTok is more like raw, real, non filter. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna make a three month video, so like in a couple months from now, but from now until the three month update video, I'll obviously be putting out other videos as well. Another side note, I left Canada for a few months, so now I have like my own place, my own space. I'm traveling the world, so like I'm just like I have more time and not more time. I guess I have more time, but I have more space basically because I was at my parents for the last couple of weeks and it was obviously hard to make this video as well. But anyways, um, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. So sorry this video is, please Jesus, let it be an hour. I'm going to go through it again and try to like, cut out like some more stuff, but uh, we'll see. Thank you guys so much. I keep saying thank you guys so much, but actually thank you. Also, also. If you have any questions about like the whole surgery process, don't be afraid to message me, email me. Yeah, either DM me or send me an email. Either one works. I obviously like love hearing from you guys and like helping guys out as much as I can. And I always say like, if you're doing research right now, this video is part of your research, like good for you because for my primary, I didn't really do too, too, too much. <sighs> I spoke so fast, I couldn't catch up. I didn't do too, too much research the first time. So if you are doing research this time, like good, like literally good. Ask me as many questions as you want. And yeah, I always try to answer like as much as I can, like as in depth as I can answer because I feel like I've been through this twice. Like I'm here to help you guys, especially I know you can be like nervous and whatever in the beginning. So yeah, that's that. I feel like I had one more thing to say, but it's not coming to my brain. Last thing, if you want to join either the Rhino Vision, Rhinoplasty WhatsApp group, I'm probably going to leave that group soon, honestly. It's just, I just don't need to be in it anymore, I think. I think I'm mostly staying in it so I can help people, like, months down the road when I should them before and after. But, like, if you're a part of that group, I muted it, honestly. It's just too much. I just don't, I don't need it right now, honestly. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to be part of uh, Dr. Selleck's, like, actual support group, message me as well. I do into that. Um, I love you all. Goodbye. <laughs>